Right, welcome back to the channel. A few videos ago I uh, put together a handlebar mount so I can do shots like this and shots from the front and a few different angles. Um, just put it together with a few bits from the garage um, but it wasn't very successful. After a couple of rides around some rough stuff it uh, spun around the handlebars, wasn't secure, it was bouncing all over the place so I scrapped it. Uh, I've spent a bit more time this morning and I've got a few GoPro mounts that were spare and I've managed to properly secure the GoPro to the handlebars and without too much fuss as well it literally clips in and out like it does on the uh, chest mount so I wanted something that was quick and easy instead of having to back around in between shots all the time that I can quickly take the camera off the bars and then put it back on the chest or the helmet so that's what we're trying today. Talking of helmets, if you've not seen the weekend's video um, from Farmer John's, please have a look. You'll have noticed on that video that uh, Tony was wearing my helmet. The reason being, you can't ride at Farmer John's without a full face. Tony forgot his helmet, didn't he? They don't have any spares, they're only prepared to sell him one for 100 quid. So we took it in turns um, to lend him our helmet so we could all have a ride. And then when Stuart went, he kind of left his helmet with Tony for the rest of the day. So all wasn't lost, but it wasn't worth an hour and a half journey back home to get the uh, helmet and then come back. The day had been over by the time he got there. So yeah, if you go to Farmer John's, don't forget your full face. Anyway, that's enough waffling. I'll swap the camera around now, stick it on the chest and uh, go down Vicar Water Descent. Right, onto the chesty, no fuss at all. Quite a fun packed weekend. We were at uh, Mechanic Chase on Saturday. Uh, the weather forecast was for heavy rain. To be fair, it was a bit of drizzle, but the ground was absolutely sodden. Um, but we're, we're waterproof, so it was an absolute blast. Puddles galore, but uh, it was great fun, so I really enjoyed that. Um, I did say we're going to sort a subscriber ride out for Canic. We've just not had a chance to uh, sort that out yet, so apologies for those that saw it last minute and uh, would have liked to have come. Um, but I will sort one out, hopefully in the not too distant future, once I've got a few other things that I need to sort out um, going on in my life, which will become clear at a not too late a date, hopefully. I can't say any more than that at the minute. Right, so I'm making the most of the sunshine today, just going to have a, a ride into Pines, see where we end up. So there's a bit of work going on at the bike park, so don't want to disturb them. So out this neck of the woods, using a bit of the red and a bit of the blue. Burns have done on here on Hellfire Alley. Absolutely superb. leads us nicely into everybody's favourite section, Tornado Alley.
bit naughty that. I'll tell you what, there was a time where if you'd had the slightest amount of rain you'd avoid coming anywhere around the red route, like the plague. For the amount of work that's been done behind the scenes on drainage absolutely puts Canuck Chase to shame. Same amount of rain and this place is pretty much bone dry. I know there's loads and loads of stuff going on that people won't ordinarily say to keep these trails running sweet and they are in my opinion in the best shape they've ever been in all the time I've been riding. So that's off to the team up here at Sherwood Pines for not only maintaining but continually adding nice little bits all over the park it really is a, a pleasure to ride around here and even when you ride it as often as I do there's always little new bits appearing that have been touched up all for our benefits so yeah brilliant job Canuck Chase take note right hope you enjoyed that one let me know in the comments below what you think to the handlebar mount I've stopped it wobbling and falling off it's definitely a place for it ideal for when you're just talking like this and you quite like the, the forward camera as well just for a more cinematic look on some of the trails I don't use it all the time, but just adds a bit of variety. So yeah, drop us a comment below, let me know what you think. If you haven't already, don't forget, like and subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one. Cheers for watching. Posh.